this video i will talk about the how to assess the severity of respiratory distress in newborn there are the various causes of respiratory distress in newborn in preterm baby most common cause is respiratory distress syndrome and in term baby birth asphyxia meconium aspiration syndrome and sepsis can lead to the respiratory distress so how to assess the severity of respiratory distress we are having the silverman anderson scoring system for the preterm newborn and downey's scoring system for the term newborn we have to look for the five signs in silverman anderson scoring system minimum score for both is 0 in is sign and maximum score for is sign is 2 and total maximum score can be 10 and total minimum score can be the 0 so in silverman anderson scoring we have to look for the upper chest retraction lower chest retraction gifford retractions nasal flaring grunting sound and in downy scoring system we have to calculate the respiratory rate look for the sinuses auscultate for the air entry and look for the retractions and then grunting sound and minimum scoring system and maximum scoring system in downy is, is same similar to the silverman anderson scoring system in this video preterm newborn presented with the respiratory distress syndrome on ventilator first day of life having the leg during inspiration so score is 1 lr nasal flaring is minimal so score is 1 and lower chest retraction is just visible so score is 1 then grunting sound is not audible not even with the stethoscope so score is 0 zifford retraction is just visible so score is 1 so total score of this baby are 4 so if score is between 4 to 6 then we can label the moderate respiratory distress and this patient at the time of admission having the severe respiratory distress so put on the ventilator so on ventilator moderate respiratory distress is present this is silverman anderson scoring system in upper chest retraction if respiration is synchronized then score will be 0 if leg during inspiration is present then score will be 1 if ceaso respiration then score will be 2 in lower chest retraction if is if retraction is not then score will be 0 if just visible lower chest retraction then score will be 1 if mark retraction then score will be 2 in gifford retraction similarly if no retraction then score will be 0 if just visible then 1 if mark then 2 similarly for the nasal flaring if not present then 0 if minimal 1 if mark then 2 if grunting sound is not audible then score will be 0 if audible with stethoscope then score will be 1 if audible with the unaided ear even from the far then score will be 2 if its total score is between 0 to 3 then we will label mild respiratory distress and baby can be managed at oxygen by hood or nasal prong if his scores are between 4 to 6 that means baby is having moderate respiratory distress and requires continuous positive airway pressure cpap if his scores are more than 6 that means impending respiratory failure is there and baby requires the ventilatory support or if his scores are 10 then we can label severe respiratory distress is present so silverman anderson scoring system is mainly helpful for the preterm baby with respiratory distress syndrome 
In this video, 9 days old full term newborn presented with the respiratory distress due to late onset sepsis. So to assess the severity of respiratory distress, we will calculate the Downey's scoring system. Respiratory rate in this baby 62, so a score will be 1. There is no cyanosis, so a score will be 0. Air entry mildly decreased during auscultation, so a score is 1. Marked retraction, you can see the cease of respiration, so a score is 2. And audible grunting sound with unaided ear, so a score is 2. So total score in this child is 6. So baby is having the moderate respiratory distress. Downey's scoring system is used in full term newborn baby with respiratory distress to assess the severity of respiratory distress. So first we have to calculate the respiratory rate. If respiratory rate is less than 60 per minute then the score will be 0. If between 60 to 80 per minute then the score will be 1. If more than 80 per minute then the score will be 2. Then look for cyanosis. If cyanosis is absent, then the score will be 0. If cyanosis is present in room air, then the score will be 1. If cyanosis is present in spite of giving the oxygen more than 40% FiO2, then the score will be 2. Then auscultate for the air entry. If air entry bilaterally equal and normal, then the score will be 0. If mildly decrease air entry, then the score will be 1. If marked decrease, then the score will be 2. Then grunting sound. If no audible grunting sound, then the score will be 0. If audible with stethoscope, then 1. If audible with unaided ear, then the score will be 2. Then look for the retraction. All retraction, LR nasal flurry, upper chest lower chest and subcoastal. If no retraction is there, then the score will be 0. If mild retraction, then the score will be 1. If moderate or mild retraction, then the score will be 2. If total score is less than 6, then we can label respiratory distress. If a score is more than 6, then patient is suffering from impending respiratory failure and requires a ventilatory support. Thank you so much.